one of my favorite things to do in Forza Motorsport 7 is to create liveries and designs. It is a very fun way to express yourself and get creative on these 200 plus mile an hour canvases that we call race cars. As you can see by the designs featured on screen, I do do this quite often and once you do really get into it, you do find that there are quite a few nitpicky things that could be changed to make the design process and the design creation process a lot more fun and a lot better for everyone in Involved. Let's get into those in today's video. A feature that I'd love to see come to the Forge Delivery Editors would be negative space vinyl shapes. If you have a car that you're painting that is a very unique color and you like to display those colors in very unique or very specific areas, you do have to work around this by placing vinyl shapes around that area rather than just filling that area with one vinyl shape and then putting it in that color. I think that for vinyl shapes having an option where instead of choosing a color, you could set either a neutral color or a blank option that would essentially make this vinyl shape the exact same color as the base for the car. This way that if you have a specific shape that you would like to create in that color, you don't have to work around that shape, you can work with the shape itself. So if you'd like to place, for example, a circle, you can simply place that circle in that color with using the negative space vinyl shapes. It would save a ton of time when doing design and also be helpful in getting the creative juices flowing as it would allow for more possibilities using the livery editor. Another item I'd love to see implemented into the Forge Delivery Editor would be more specific areas to paint for cars with complicated body line. At the moment in Forza, we only have paint options for the front and rear bumpers, the sides, and the top. This means that for some cars, where smooth areas of the body either have multiple layers or are hidden or will have overlap, it does make it quite difficult to have smooth transitions or to paint complicated designs as you have to align everything and sometimes the designs end up being stretched or they will not look quite right because there aren't specific areas to paint. I think a system similar to what Need for Speed Heat has, where it has many, many, many different options for areas to paint, I think that if putting something like that that's specific for each and every car, I think it would make it a lot easier to paint and overall a lot less frustrating as you do not have those certain cars which do not work with certain designs because of the limitations of the current livery editor. Another thing I'd love to see implemented into the Forge Delivery Editor would be the ability to upload images or company logos from your computer. If there is a logo that isn't a part of the Forza Manufacturer decals that you would like to add onto a car, you will have to create it yourself using the current vinyl shapes. This is a very long and sometimes frustrating process that takes a lot of time, especially if you want to get the logo as accurate as possible. While yes, you can use other people's logos that have been created by them, if you do, you will not be able to upload and share that design as you have used someone else's contents from Forza. If you have the ability to simply upload that logo into the Forza delivery, delivery Editor, as you can with titles such as Grand Prismo Sport, it would save hours and hours and hours in the livery editing and creation process. An additional feature I'd like to see added into the Forza Motorsport 7 livery editor would be the ability to type a description when sharing a design. And this goes for sharing tunes as well. I think that this would be helpful for those who are seeking to apply a design to a car to see, hey, what is this design about? What does it mean? Or why was the design created in this way? This also goes for tunes. It would help those seeking to download a tune if they had some instructions saying, hey, this is what you should do, this is what the tune is for, or more specific details details on what it is about. I think overall it would just be beneficial and an extra little thing that would add to the Forza Motorsport 7 sharing experience. The next feature I'd like to see added into the Forza Delivery Editor would be different options for the speed and pacing of the movement of vinyl shapes. Currently, if you like to move a shape or manufacture a decal on a car, there is only one speed setting that you can use if you are using the sticks. So if you end up having to move a shape or manufacture a decal from one end of a car to another, it will take quite a bit of time. Now this can be a bit frustrating if you do have a design that requires you to do this multiple times. 
So I think that adding in more than one option for speed, they can maybe hit a button and then select. I think this should make the design creation process a little less frustrating, a little faster, and overall a more enjoyable process for those who choose to create designs. I think this would also allow for more precise placement of bottom shapes if someone for some reason does not want to use the d-pad to move a shape or decal pixel by pixel. Another quite simple feature that could be added into Ford's delivery editor would be the ability to change the color of some of the manufacturer decals. Now while this wouldn't be possible for quite a few of them, for example Pennzoil or Yokohama or the ones that have multiple colors in them, a lot of the decals are simply a flat logo with one color consistent throughout. So essentially if you wanted to, you couldn't just change the color of these logos to match your car. Now while this may be difficult to implement as you would have to communicate with every single company, I think that it would not be hard to get some of them to at least agree to the ability to change the color from either the company logo to a black or a white base. I think this would make it so that you can use manufacturer logos more as it's not locked to one single color. And the final feature I'd like to see implemented into the Forge Delivery Editor would be the ability to adjust vinyl shape thickness without changing the size. Currently, if you do select a vinyl shape, you are locked to a single thickness ratio. So if you would like to create a circle of a certain thickness, it's very difficult to do so with one or two vinyl shapes because you have to adjust the thickness using multiple vinyl shapes. I think that the ability to not only change the width and length of vinyl shapes, but also to adjust the thickness, I think this would help a lot. As it would make the design process a lot smoother, it would also reduce the layers in each design, and it would overall help quite a bit in the design creation process. Well that's all the features that I'd love to see added into the Forge Delivery Editor. If you have any suggestions for any features that you'd like to see included, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, that's going to be all from me today. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter down below. Make sure to stay happy, stay safe, stay positive, stay healthy. This would be myself, signing off. Peace out.